bet he fell. We're on in five, four. When the clock struck six, it meant one thing for Ron Burgundy and his news team. Go time. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Motorboating with Memories. This is Tanks for the Memories playing World of Warships closed beta test, and today we have another news flash for you. I'd like to cover all the things that have happened in the last 24 hours as World of Warships gets closer and closer to open beta testing, which should take place sometime this weekend over the July 4th holiday here in the U.S. If you've been keeping up with all of the information that's been coming out on both the forums and on the World of Warships webpage, then great. You probably don't need to watch this, but if you haven't been, stick around and I'll explain everything that's taking place. So far, first we have uh, the announcement that World of Warships has done what's called load testing. And that is where they have opened up the servers and actually even changed the server name uh, to allow players into the server to begin testing to see how many players get on the server before it becomes unstable and some other things like that. But basically, while we are not yet in open beta test, there are a number of players who have not been in the game previously during closed beta or alpha testing who have been able to download the game and get into it and start playing. So for those of you who were able to do so earlier today, congratulations. For those of you who did not make it, they probably will be doing some more load testing over the next couple of days before we launch into open beta. So if you're able to download the game and log in, Excellent, good for you. Uh, if not, keep trying and stick around for this weekend. What the load testing means is that, and I'll read this directly from some information that came off the forums, uh, what load testing means is that they are uh, trying to reach a, a certain planned capacity of players onto the servers, and if you can download the game and get into it, great. Um, if they reach their plan capacity, then you will not be able to do so until the next time they do a load test. Once you're in, though, you're in. Um, is this open beta? No, this is not open beta. That's why there have been no announcements saying this is open beta. Um, keep checking back. It says, if I buy doubloons and premium ship packages in the premium shop, will I be able to keep them? Yes, the premium shop goods you buy from this moment will carry on to the open beta through the game's official release. They will not be wiped. What about regular ships? Will there be any more wipes? And this keeps coming up over and over and over again in the forums and everywhere else. There will not be another wipe. Period. There will not be another wipe. Again, there will not be another wipe. What is in the game now is in the game. Those of you who have been playing, what you have is what you have. The goal that you have is the goal that you have. If you begin to spend it now, you will run out of it. They will not give it back to you. If you have ships there now and you sell them, they are gone. If you just have started the game and you get into it and you buy some ships now, you will keep those ships. There will not be another wipe. End of story. Trust me on this. There's not going to be another wipe. When the game goes into open beta, anybody who's in there now will keep what they have. Anybody who joins in open beta will start from scratch at open beta. Okay, can I make videos, can I stream, can I post on the forums about the game and its contents? Yes, the game is no longer under any sort of NDA. If you got in, share it. Love to see it. The more people who are sharing, the better it's going to be for everyone else, and the more information that gets out there. So look forward to seeing your videos, look forward to hearing from you on the forums. Please do feel free to share. So that's what's going on so far with the load testing. Uh, also, there are some new packages coming into the premium shop that I will discuss with you in just a second. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of the ships that are currently in the game. Uh, you will start out with the Hashidate and with the American Tier 1 ship, which is the... Uh, what is this thing here? This, this bad boy. Um, the Erie. And... If you were in closed beta testing, then you are going to get the American uh, battleship, the Arkansas, which is called Arkansas Beta. It's this ship right here. It is a Tier 4 battleship. You can buy some, or you could. They're probably gone from the gift shop now, but you could have bought the Grimyashi, the Yabari, and the Sims, which should have been removed from the gift shop the other day. In the game, you can currently buy the Murmansk, and the Atlanta, as well as, I believe, the Aurora, 
which I do not have. Um, and the Atago will be coming out of the shop, and so will the Atlanta, or out of the game. So very shortly, if it hasn't already happened, both the Atlanta and the Atago are coming out of sale in the game. So if you don't have it, get it. Get them both. They're both very good ships. Um, they have their weaknesses, but they are excellent premium ships. So if you have the opportunity to get them uh, before they disappear from the uh, tech tree, get them. Otherwise, they're going to be gone from the tech tree for some time. So uh, moving on to talk about the gift packages that are in the premium shop. All right, the first ship that's in the premium shop right now, uh, and it's on special, is the War Spite. And the package includes the War Spite, which is a uh, British battleship. And it also includes a port slot. Now, the War Spite came into the game in the closed beta test uh, as the first of the British line to come into the game. The War Spite is a very famous battleship. Uh, you can Google it and see all about it in uh, various videos and historical documents and things like that. It is, a uh, again, a very famous British battleship. In World of Warships, you can buy this now on sale for $31.06 U.S. currency. Again, $31.06. This offer expires in five days. Today is the 30th of June. So five days from today, this this uh, offer will expire. The HMS Warspite has got uh, 53,800 hit points and four double sets of 381 millimeter main guns. I do not own the Warspite, but uh, UK Warspite. But this is what it looks like. And um, it is a beautiful looking battleship, obviously an outstanding looking ship and the main battery range is 16.3 kilometers so it looks like that's gone up a little bit from what it was originally I could be wrong but that's what it looks like I'm sure somebody can correct me in the uh, comment section of this video but it's got uh, essentially eight barrels of 381 millimeter uh, cannons it's got some uh, secondary anti-aircraft armaments of 102 millimeters and some secondary armaments of 152 millimeters. So pretty good secondary arm armament on the ship down here um, in these areas and some decent anti-aircraft guns. Uh, so you can see that it's got 11 20 millimeter guns. It's got four uh, times eight 40 millimeter guns and four times two 122 uh, 102 millimeter guns. So decent anti-aircraft fire protection. Uh, decent uh, secondary armaments on it and some pretty good primary armaments. It is a beautiful ship, not real fast, um, but nevertheless, let me close this down a little bit here. You know, not real fast, 20, basically 24 knots. Uh, turns pretty good, it's got pretty decent maneuverability. Um, so that's on the market right now for 6,500 gold in the game, or you can buy it. Uh, in the gift shop for $31.06, which includes a port. The next ship that is in the premium gift shop right now, which one I haven't seen before, so uh, we'll talk about that, and it is the Ishizuchi, which is a Tier 4 Japanese ship. Um, they're calling it a battleship, but actually it's more like a battle cruiser. Um, it is a good entrance into the sort of battleship line for the Japanese. Uh, I don't think it's actually in the tech tree yet, is it? No, it's not. It's going to come in at Tier 4 as a battlecruiser, um, and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, from what I can tell, it's a pretty good ship. Here's a couple of screenshots. I was able to pull off uh, some Russian testers videos of the ship here um, again pretty good ship pretty basic looking you know a little like the Miyogi so you get the general idea uh, anyway back to the script basically it's tier 4 the same level as the Miyogi um, it's about 13 bucks and um, it's got four turrets with 14 inch let's see let's see 
no, I'm sorry, it has five turrets. Uh, it's got five turrets, but it only has the 12-inch guns. So uh, the Miyogi has four turrets with 14-inch guns. The Isuzuchi has five turrets, but the 12-inch guns. So uh, again, this is available in the gift shop for $13.99. It comes with the battle sh or with the battle cruiser and with one port slot. So uh, another way to get into the game, if you want to start in the Japanese line, is to buy the Isuzuchi. And you can get that for $13.99 U.S. with whatever the equivalent is in other national currencies. So moving on to some patch notes. I don't know if you guys noticed today or not, but there was a patch. If you tried to log into World of Warships today, you received a patch. And I believe a lot of that is going to be um, files for ships that will be coming active in uh, the open beta, as well as... Uh, some changes to the gameplay, and I've got the patch notes for you here. If you need to, you can pause this here to read the actual patch notes Which, from the forums, uh, and then we'll get back to the video. include the following. Um, they have removed the, as I mentioned before, they have removed the Tier 8 premium ships Atago and Atlanta from sale within the game, so those have been removed from the tech tree. They have done a lot of changes uh, to behind the scenes to the lag and ping indicators that you'll see as you play the game in the upper, I guess, upper left-hand corner of your screen. So without getting too technical into what those changes were, essentially they're trying to become more accurate in letting people know what the lag and ping is in their particular games as they're playing. And I think this is also to help Wargaming understand better loads on the servers at different times, so they obviously have listened to our issues regarding lag and ping and are trying to do something about it and also give you a more accurate representation of exactly what's going on with your lag and ping. Uh, yeah, they've, they've tuned the red light indicator for lag. Now lag is triggered in case when ping exceeds the given range value and remains higher for several frames. In other words, red light is on when network issues affect gameplay. Um, they fixed some chat channel unavailability uh, during high online uh, cases of lots of people being on the server. They've uh, fixed shell effects displayed in low graphic settings. They have, um, let's see, let me see what else they've done here. Fixed a bug of incorrect gold and free experience display in World of Tanks after switching to the World of Warships login really quickly. They fixed a bug that led to an incorrect choice of some settings when auto-detecting auto uh, your computer's capabilities. And now it is possible for you to go into a two, Tier 2 battle with 24 cruisers, so it would be 12 cruisers per side. So that's now possible in uh, Tier 2. So obviously with lots of players coming into the game and all trying to work their way up the tier tech tree as quick as possible, you know, we're obviously going to start seeing lots of cruisers and destroyers in Tier 2 play, and so they're making allowances for the number of ships that can get in there. Um, obviously, Tier 1 is going to be filled with Hashidates and uh, whatever the American ship is again. I keep forgetting the name of the damn thing. The Erie. So, uh, but Tier 2 is going to see lots of Chesters and Samsons and, in the Japanese line, the Chikuma and the Umikazes. So... If you're interested in seeing more about the destroyer line starting there, I've got a couple of good vi videos on the Umikaze, which is a ship that I really, really enjoy. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So we've got some patch notes there for 4.0.1. We've talked about some of the ships that are available in the gift shop, not in the game, but in the gift shop that you can purchase for $31 as well as $14. One of those is a British battleship and the other is a Japanese battle cruiser uh, at Tier 4. You also uh, heard that we talked about um, the load testing that's on there. So if you're able to download the game and get into it now, it is not necessarily open beta, but there are some people who are able to get in the game who have not in been in before. And we've talked about the fact that Wargaming is removing from the tech tree for sale the premium ships Otago and USS Atlanta. That's it for today. That's the big news for now. Look forward to seeing Open Beta come this weekend, sometime over the July 4th holiday. I truly do believe that's when it's going to come. I do not have specific information from anybody at Wargaming that that's when it will happen, but that's when I believe it to be happening. 
everything is indicating that that's the case, and that's what they spoke about at the E3 conference. So anyway, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to know more about news that's coming up in the game, and look forward to seeing you guys online. I'll be doing some actual posting of World of Warships gameplay in the near future as I work my way back up the tech tree, but i uh, got some company in town for the next few days, and as you can see, my living room behind me is where most everybody hangs out, so I can't be really doing a whole lot of videos when I've got a ton of kids back there trying to watch uh, Pixar movies on the TV. So anyway, I will get some gameplay in as soon as possible, but in the meantime, stick around, take a look at some of my older videos, and thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.